balancing the tone arm. This is important process that allows the cartridge to track properly. Failure doing that can cause the stylus to wear prematurely and possibly damage the record. First I'll set the anti-skate adjustment knob to zero. Carefully move the stylus protective cover by sliding it straight forward off the front of the cartridge exposing the stylus. While gently holding the head shell to stabilize the tone arm, carefully release, release the lock and clamp. At this point the tone, tone arm is unbalanced and can easily swing. Careful not to let the stylus drag across the platter. While gently holding the head shell, rotate the counterweight until the tone arm is horizontally balanced. It should hover freely just above the platter and not touch the platter. Once the tone arm is balanced, without touching the counterweight, carefully move the tone arm to its rest and secure it with the lock and clamp. Now I'm going to do track and force is the weight of the stylus and cartridge pressing down on the record groove. Every cartridge has a recommended uh, track and force. Setting the track and force to, to light can cause the stylus to skip out of the groove on a loud or dynamic passage. Setting the track and force too heavy can cause an excessive wear on the stylus and record resulting in an audio distortion or channel imbalance. The recommended stylus track and force for the ATVM 95E cartridge is 2 grams. Right, time to locate the black stylus of force gauge dial. Marked with numbers and lines indicating different track and forces, the dial can rotate independently from the counterweight. Without turning the counterweight, carefully rotate the stylus force gauge until zero on the dial lines up with the center line or the center line mark on top of the tone arm. Now set the track and force by rotating the entire counterweight assembly in a counter, counter clockwise direction. As you rotate the counterweight, know that the gauge dial rota rotates with it. Now I've set the recommended track and force for the AT BM 95A cartridge. We'll look at the adjusting the anti-skate. The anti-skate force adjustment dial is located on the base of the tone arm. Anti-skate is a small outward force applied to the tone arm. It compensates for the natural skating force that pulls the tone arm towards the centre of the record as it plays. For the best performance during the normal tin turntable operation, set the anti-skate adjustment knob to the same value as the cartridge track and force and it is 2 grams.